Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create database in SQL Server 2014. This video is part of SQL Server 2014 DBA tutorial, and we'll be using two ways to create SQL Server uh, database in 2014. One is using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface uh, GUI version, and other will be using uh, T-SQL script to create the database. Any script that will be used in this video or uh, my coming videos will be available at our blog which is right here, www.sqlh.blogspot.com. So you can go ahead and download uh, that particular script if, uh, in that particular demo. So we're going to go ahead and um, go in the server where I have installed SQL Server 2014 and also the SQL Server Management Studio. So we're going to go ahead and fire up SQL Server Management Studio. And this is my Tech Brothers SQL is my machine name and SQL Server instance name, which is 2014 SQL, PR, uh, SQL Prod. So we're going to go ahead and connect with uh, our SQL Server instance. So we're going to cover the first part of our video using a uh, graphic user interface of SQL Server Management Studio, which is right here. So you see right here, there are already uh, other databases up here on this SQL Server. So we're going to go ahead and create a new database. Right click on the database, click new database. The first option you get is a database name. So I'm going to go ahead and name my, my database up here which is sales order owner it's important that you define the owner when you create the database by default the SA would be the owner um, or whatever the default owner you have defined in SQL Server setting but uh, by default usually is a, a SA so uh, the best practice is that if this database is going to be used for a particular application and you have that particular account that connects to that application or service account for that application you should make that account uh, as an owner of this particular database so um, up here we have a few options um, I'm gonna quickly go through that uh, the logical name up here is a sales order uh, usually it gets from this uh, database name up here and um, I mean file type is this is the data file type and this is log file type of this particular data and file group is primary if you wanted to create this database in any other file group that is already created on SQL Server 2014 you can choose that uh, but this um, if you don't define um, these these options up here uh, then it's going to take the default options which is set by your model system model database so I thought that I would mention that I'll show you in a second that what um, uh, by default options what options available that we have um, uh, in model database it is going to follow that if you don't define uh, yourself any option so initial size up here is uh, 4 MB which is also the size of model database if you don't define you can change this initial size I will be covering in later videos what's the best practices of initial size of the database so far the scope of this video is how to create the database and go through different options so auto growth uh, right now is 1 MB unlimited and 10 percent and up here this is important the path this path is basically it gets from the path that you define from uh, when you install SQL Server or the setting from the SQL Server instance and let me show you real quick if you go to the properties and if you go to the database setting right here is the data file and right here is the log file if you don't define the data file and log file path it is going to create your data files and log files in this particular um, particular path for both data and log and the backup files so we're gonna go ahead and cancel this and go back to our database so up here so uh, as you can see that it has taken I have I'm not changing this uh, these particular paths for data and log files um, if you don't give the file names up here uh, it is going to take this database name um, for uh, MDF and LDF so I'm going to go ahead and sales orders dot MDF and same with sales orders underscore log dot LDF so the extension for data files are MDF 
and extension for uh, log file is LDF. So let's go ahead and go through some options. The first, uh, first option you will see that uh, is collation. If you wanted to change the collation of the database, um, you can change it now or you can change it later. You have an option. But uh, as you can see right here, by default, whatever the collation of your SQL Server when you installed is going to grab that if you leave that right here. But if you wanted to change it, you, all you need to do is click up here and choose your collation. Recovery model right here is full. There are uh, uh, three recovery models up here full bulk log simple and we'll go uh, in detail of these recovery models in later videos but I just wanted to mention it that uh, by default it gets uh, uh, full because your model database recovery model is full so compatibility level up here uh, is the SQL Server 2014 which is 120 and SQL Server 2012 is 110 2008 is uh, 100 if you're if there is any application that is not compatible with SQL Server 2014 or 2012 and they are compatible with 2005 and 2008 you can change the compatibility level of this particular database and there shouldn't be any problem for that particular application to connect to this database so we're gonna go ahead and leave it SQL Server 2014 uh, uh, containment type if uh, we will get into uh, the detail of contain um, contained database uh, types this is SQL Server 2014 and 2012 uh, uh, tw um, new option right here and I'll get into detail when we create a contained database and uh, we'll cover that during that time so some of the options right here they are also available in SQL Server 20, 2008 2012 and 2014 there these are very common options you can go through that up here uh, file groups right now we have only I have only one file group which is primary if you have multiple file groups and you wanted to create um, the MDF or uh, the data files of this particular database into different file group you can choose that you can add that particular file group right here and memory optimized data we will go into detail in later videos of this so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and let's see that if our database is created we didn't get any error so right here is our sales order database as you can see right here I wanted to show you real quick uh, the model database that um, once you if you accept any default behavior during creation of your database it is going to actually follow your model database if you right click and go to properties up here uh, as you can see the collation is this and your if you don't change the collation uh, by yourself then it's going to accept the default collation which is right here CP1 CI AS and file locations as you can see when I mentioned that the initial size is going to be 4 MB so it followed your model database and if you try to create 2 MB of that particular database it's going to give you error because your model database initial size is 4 MB you cannot create a database uh, a data file less than uh, this particular size so file groups right here options all these options as you can see the recovery model of your model database is full so any database that you create with the default behavior is going to be recovery model full change tracking we have false on model database so any database we create is going to by default going to have change tracking false and I just wanted to quickly mention it to you that it follows uh, the default behavior uh, about your um, uh, new database of your new database uh, according to the model system database so up here this is our uh, first um, first way of uh, creating our database as you can see right here you can right now there are only system tables we haven't created any table in this database so this is the first way that you can create the database uh, using SQL Server Management Studio uh, graphic user interface and we're gonna go ahead and delete this particular database so that we can use our second method which is using T-SQL script so we're gonna go ahead and I have my T-SQL script I'm going to open right here and we'll be covering both creating the database and options of the, that database using T-SQL. 
So we're going to go ahead and this is the create uh, db uh, dot SQL script. So we're going to go ahead and open that. As you can see right here, you, uh, use master and it's a create database sales order on uh, primary. Right here is the file group and right here is the name of the data files, uh, logical names right here. And this is the path. And again, up here, size, maximum size, file growth, exactly what we saw during our uh, graphic user interface uh, version of creating database. So we're gonna go ahead and run this command. As you can see, I, I mentioned that if you, since our model database is 4 MB, and if you try to create a database with the file size less than 4 MB, it's going to give you error. So we're going to go ahead and make it at least 4 MB. I'll be covering actually best practices uh, later in later videos about the file size, initial size of a database. So we're going to go ahead and run this command now. As you can see, it's the command is successfully completed. And let's see if our database is created. So right here, our database is created. Now we're going to run another script which covers the properties and options of, of this particular database sales order. So we're going to go ahead and open that. And right here is create database options. As you can see that uh, we use alter database if you wanted to change something in the database which is data our database is sales orders and set compatibility level is 120 if you wanted to create for uh, SQL Server 2012 you need to do it 110 and 100 for uh, SQL Server 2008 and so forth so up here there are options that you can use alter database I just wanted to quickly show you right here So you can use script to change the options of your database. Once you create the database, you, these options can be changed later on as well. But I'm going to go ahead and execute this script. As you can see, this script is executed with no error. So this is uh, the, these are these are two methods that you can create the database in SQL Server 2014 and uh, this is the normal database this is not the contained database I'll be covering the contained database in later videos in this tutorial so um, uh, first method we use uh, used uh, the SQL Server Management Studio a graphic user interface ver um, version and the second we used uh, the T-SQL script to create the database in SQL Server 2014 and I hope this video helps